Hey, so I uh, I uploaded a clip just yesterday called uh, Stuck In, right? Which is a pretty funny clip. It, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Go check that out. But I wanted to take some time here on my lunch hour and break it down because watching it back, like there's some funny stuff that happens, which is great. But there's a lot of cool, like individual decisions along the way that I think are really worth explaining because I found them super interesting watching it back. So I'm going to set this to like super slow motion and uh, we're just going to go like bit by bit of what's happening here. So you can see just to set the stage right on the top, you can see they've lost four players, including Sniper and NG. We're about to come up on Uber. So it's time for us to just go, right? But you can see my demo and scout are on the far side of the cart. So I can't reach them with my beam yet. So as we play the... Oh, that's annoying. So as we, as we begin here, you see I use, but I'm on my pyro still. And the reason I use while I'm on my pyro before touching them is because he still has a full buff. So even if I lose this uh, flash, but he's not going to take damage from those stickies, right? So I use like just before and even just in case something happens to me or something goes crazy wrong, I still have my Uber that I'm using. Uh, like, you know, I'm only getting to him now at 90% instead of 100, but it's better than nothing. Now I want you to watch my crosshair versus my movement. So I'm staring directly at these guys still watching if they're about to take any damage to see if I need to flash my scout or not. And now check this out. I'm straight up tracking my, while I'm walking backwards with my Uber, I'm tracking my scout to see, is he coming in this Uber? Does he need a flash? And the thing is, I think coming in this Uber would be very good. Uh, I also think staying out of this Uber is very good. So it's kind of either one is fine. The, absolute worst case scenario is if we're both not sure. Like if I think he's coming in, but he's not, or he wants to come in, but I th I don't think he is, then we're going to have a mismatch, mismatch, right? So I'm going to try flashing him when I don't need to, that would be bad. Or he's going to need a flash and I don't flash him. So both of those are the worst case scenario. So whether he's in or out, it's fine, but I have to know basically. And you can see now by tracking him, okay, he he's just saying with his body language, I'm not in. So now I take my, my demo. I could flash my pyro again. I'm seeing if he's about to take damage. He still has a full buff. With, that, with zero flashes, our pyro is able to get all the way over here. No flashes. Our scout's able to stay out of the Uber and get on cart. Great. And now we're at 50%. So the thing is, if I were to leave, now is kind of the time to leave. But the problem on Vigil is... Um, if I want to leave to safety, I have to get like around the corner, like back through main or something, where I have to get outside big door, but their flank might even be able to come into me and it's just not great. So what I like to do instead is like, rather than just giving up literally half of our Uber, a lot of times pyros will just be so, uh, yeah, not knowing what they're doing and they'll just blast me back to safety for me. So you can see that's why I'm not even checking what I'm walking into because the pyro is probably going to air blast our Uber. But this part we're playing up against uh, is doing a great job. So they are uh, they don't air blast me away. And um, yeah, they realize like I'm, I'm making a mistake by going over here. But I'll also add that on Vigil, look how far back our cart is, right? If I finish my Uber in main, they would be shooting me and the cart at the same time, like I'm taking the same damage. So that's really, I'm, I'm like baiting our cart pushers and getting them killed because I finished on top of them. So finishing in main is basically a no-go. If I finish outside big door, that's a bit better, but that's even farther of a way away that I have to walk. And again, their flank could just collapse on me. I mean, I could tank cart, it works very well, but you know, a lot of better teams will have their heavy just run around the flank and things like that. So finishing main is a... Uh, bad finishing big doors a bit better but again i would have to have left already like before 50 percent, i would have had to start leaving uh, if i wanted to get out alive but then you know the question is why right so normal i'm play if if i can get a speed boost to be alive then great i'll take it from the pyro but if not watch what happens i'm already here and i keep going i'm walking farther and farther into them now if people are trying to do damage like they have to the people who are spawning are gonna like see me Ubered here. The pyro finally starts air blasting and they actually separate me and the demo, which is great. So I try and keep the beam on RJ as long as possible. Now he's wasting his time on me instead of the people who are like about to win the round, right? So like I said, I don't like finishing in main and finishing in big doors really difficult and usually not worth it. So if I could finish out here and die, like now they, they have to choose. Before I said if I finish in main, they're going to shoot me and the cart. Now they have to choose that they're going to shoot me or the cart. The correct answer is the cart. They should shoot the cart. They absolutely should be shooting the cart, uh, especially with this many players down and stuff. They're going to be getting respawns, but like, look, this guy's completely wasted on me. The medic is like, they don't know which way to go. So I'm by myself doing no damage and doing nothing, but completely splitting their attention. Like you see, I'm like running even farther by this demo and heavy. 
because like again if i can die here and the car can get way closer my team can like you know shoot these people who are looking look at this like right the medics looking at me the pyro's looking at me my demo's still in doing damage like not not as because no one's looking at um because no one's looking at rj look at these stickies he's getting off it's unbelievable and i'm here basically just straight up to die like you could see me now like going and just causing havoc here trying to get us on the demo it doesn't work uh, now I'm even staying on the pack, like, so it's going to take them a while, like, multiple shots to try and kill me. But finally, at this point, they realize and say, hey, we're, we're they realize they're making a mistake by shooting me. Like, they they have nothing to gain. Like, look at RJ. Still has literally, he literally has a buff. Our demo has a buff taking this fight. And now they're realizing we should start shooting the demo. Right? Isn't that insane? And I'm still here, right? So, look at this arrow, too. Like, I'm saying I'm making myself hard to kill. We're making him hard to kill. The cart's getting capped. The rest of our team is coming in deeper and deeper. So, by putting myself in this crazy situation, look how many plus sides there are. Even even if I died, a mi like, you know, let's say three seconds ago in, in, in game time, it was, still would have been very good. I think much better dying over here and letting my team, you know, keeping their team corralled over here rather than helping their team focus fire the cart. So we'll we'll keep this rolling here. Now you can see again, I'm like just getting the beam on the demo, just being like a, a menace over here. Like now it's taking four people to focus fire this demo because he finished the Uber with a buff, got a crossbow, more of my beam on him. So he's just so impossible to kill and so long to kill. Look, the cart's like halfway up the ramp now. And oh, and look at this. Now that our, the Ubers are all over, our pyro and soldier collapse. The only reason they're able to collapse on four people here is because I was one of the I was the fifth person here. If I wasn't standing in that corner with like with my back against the wall here, their team could have left a lot earlier. Their team could have focused their demo. Their team could have focused the cart. You know, but since we were here so deep and so long, wreaking havoc and just stalling for time, drawing eyes and attention, now the rest of my team has the easiest layup of their whole lives. Like, look at this bomb. I mean, our pyro gets the engineer again, so no gun. Our soldier's about to do a million damage. He gets the medic. You know, he's going nuts. So these guys already like won the round for us, basically. Like this, this is the play. So now I just get to like mess around because, uh, yeah, with this Uber and my positioning in the Uber, I, I feel like that just is what won us the round completely. And now, uh, yeah, it gets to be a little bit of fun where I, I know that spy is hurt and I'm trying to leave anyway, but like, yeah, just, just to prove a point there. So now it's just to leave and get back to healing cart. And then, uh, of course we find, we find Michael Lely hanging out. He doesn't know, uh, ha you know, has no idea that I'm coming up on the flank and shouldn't care that I'm coming up on the flank because what the hell am I going to do over here? He should just go and get the cart. Uh, but, you know, that's why, that's another, like, great thing about me being here is even if, again, if the scout just killed me there and I just died out of nowhere, or, like the spy killed me and I just died out of nowhere, again, these guys already win the round. But by putting myself so far forward, we just win it. So, yeah, and of course, um, we just capped the cart because they're nine down. So let's just recap and go over this one more time at a half speed let's say so i start using on my pyro to ensure he gets to keep his buff and then i'm walking forward with my uh scout and demo who are the ones who are getting the uber i track my de uh, my scout to see is he coming in then i'll flash him if he's not then no problem i now walk backwards and track our pyro and like keep an eye on him to see if he needs a flash and he doesn't i now walk up to the point where the pyro should air blast me to safety or i can full commit myself it so happens that the pyro does not help me get to safety, so I do full commit and split them. So now the pyro has to pick, is it the demo or the medic? They choose demo, but then they choose medic. So you saw the heavy was shooting me instead of cart just a second ago. We'll, we'll show it. You can see the heavy on the top right is shooting at me, not the cart. And now the pyro is looking back at me, not the demo or the cart. Our scout still has full health on cart. Our demo is finishing this with a buff. I'm here causing havoc. There's now three people, the demo, the pyro, the medic, all looking at me at the same time. And uh, finally, they realize that's a mistake. So they should shoot at the people who can actually do damage and win rounds. And uh, they put damage into RJ, but I put an extra like 120 health into RJ as this is all happening with the bow and the beam. And he also finished with a buff as well because they, uh, they weren't able to focus him well enough. So... It takes them forever to kill RJ, and they're still looking at me. Like, the spy is shooting me while the rest of the team is shooting the demo. Like, they can't focus fire as both. So, because me, I was able to full commit and we stayed in for so long, we see our soldier high bombing up from the from the stratosphere, and our pyro just walking up with a shotgun. And they get the medic, they get the NG, they get a million damage off, you know, they're still in. 
And um, yeah, that's the round winning play by me staying in. And for fun, I get the spy. And then uh, Mike Lilly gets caught caught out here. But again, it was losing for them anyway, just because of this play and how well it went. And yeah, so keep that in mind with the uh, full commit on a, on an Uber like this, because again, I don't want to finish main. I can't realistically finish outside unless I want to give up half our Uber. So I may as well go in. If they want to help me to safety, great. If not, I'll stay in and keep distracting them and drawing eyes. Even if I die, my team can... With, my team can win the round because I died. But if I lived, they have a harder time winning the round. And by recognizing that and making myself as sticky as possible and like m mucking up their play, that's what let us uh, have a successful Uber here. All right. Thanks.